London Bridge Station is the first London terminus that still exists today. It handles about 54 million passengers uh, every year. In the peak hour, we've got over a thousand new people entering or exiting the station every minute. Thameslink itself is about addressing long-term capacity requirements for the trains running through London Bridge and through this area. We've taken the opportunity to pretty much start again. Well, we wanted to have everybody with level access, so that means both in terms of accessing the train but also in using the station. Well, the original station had six through tracks and nine terminating tracks. We're changing that to nine through tracks and six terminating tracks. And that means that literally every track is in a new position on the station. London Bridge currently has you know, its entrances and its station down one end, so by putting the concourse in the middle, in the middle of the train effectively, and you load it at third points, which is a much more efficient way of loading the trains. In the distance, we can see the existing tracks. Then below those, we can see the Victorian arches. These were constructed between 1836 and about 1890. We're removing those, replacing them with large bridge decks, which allows us to increase the size of the uh, movement zone between the through and terminating tracks. In order to do that, we've used a fully coordinated 3D model. From that, the contractor has also undertaken exercises to ensure that they deliver things on time. We've turned to off-site solutions, we've modularised, we're prefabricating the facade to give us the ability to meet this really challenging programme. Probably the most challenging aspect of this project is actually the fact that we have to keep the station operational at all times. I liken this project to doing open heart surgery on someone who's jogging at the same time. So the nine stages that had to be planned for construction and each time that a stage was completed, we had to return a safe operating station. It's meant that some of the stages have been a very, very small complex area to work in that's given some very, some real challenges to the construction teams. We're currently completing the concrete, the reinforced concrete at the top of these bridge girders. So this will be five of the nine bridge sets that we have on the project in total. All that section of work has to be completed within a set amount of time, so it's very critical that the construction activities can take place within that time, and the design is predicated to ensure that that happens. Now we're standing on the area that follows through from the bridge decks. This area contains five of the nine through tracks and is built on top of the existing Victorian arches. It's quite important here to have a load balance between what was there originally and what we're putting on now. And in this instance, under a lot of this area, we're actually using polystyrene fill to make sure we keep that load balance. We believe that's the first and a railway environment project, but that enabled us to reduce the load sufficiently to maintain the existing arches and stay with what we had. Our role as the engineer and the leading designer on this project has been to work very closely with the architect to deliver a 21st century station. One of the key planning considerations now for most developments is to consider what the roof will look like and how it will look to residents living above. What we've gone for here is really a series of canopies which is very unusual for the capital. We're currently standing in the track bed to track number nine. If you're here in about a year's time, you'll be knocked over by the 918 to Charing Cross. Just to the left are then the precast concrete platform sections, and then the modular canopy units. They contain all of the speakers, the lighting, the cameras, as one module. This means that our construction sequence can be very quick. You can guarantee the finish because it's been done in a factory rather than being done on site, and you can test things before they get here so it saves time on site. Recognising that we're building a station that we want to be leading edge and world class in the 21st century, we also recognise there's a lot of history in London Bridge. What we have done is retained the listed facade, and we're also now opening up some of the very early arches. As part of our development, we're extending the Western Arcade, which means we need to introduce new quadripartite arches. We're using a technical innovation on this project, polystyrene, to create a monolithic structure that enables Network Rail to be able to inspect the arches from the outside. We've gone for a timber shuttered finish, and that's been key to try and make sure that the final aesthetics tie in with the existing quadripartite arches. Modern stations have a high requirement for retail provision. So 
The use of retail in the station is extremely important, both for um, passenger requirements, but also as the owner, Network Rail, it's a, a very valuable revenue source. Retail tends to be very power hungry, so ensuring that you bring that in early makes sure that your key main plant is suitably sized. And it is important to make sure that actually we could do that at the right time, not to bring it in as, a, as an afterthought, which would then potentially have quite large implications to what you'd already designed. I'm most proud in the way the team has worked together to deliver what has been a complicated, difficult design. For me it's been a fantastic project to see how we can transform an existing station that was looking quite tired and create something truly spectacular. It's bringing this whole area into the 21st century. It's a massive regeneration of the area, a lots of investment, moving potentially some of the city south of the river. This is the biggest station works that Network Rail has undertaken. It's just about the biggest track and signalling rework we've undertaken. We're doing both at the same time and we're trying to run the fourth busiest station. As they say, good game, good game.